Hey kids, welcome back to math. I was having so much fun building my 10 towers last time, I thought I'd do it again. Look, I've got some yellow blocks, but I don't quite have 10. Hmm. Let's see how many I do have. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. I have five yellow blocks. Hmm. What should I do to figure out how many more I need to get to 10? You got it. I need to start adding more blocks and counting on. Can you count with me? Great. Here we go. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I have 10 blocks in my tower but I don't quite remember how many I added. Can we count the green blocks to see how many more there are? Great, let's count. One, two, three, four, five. We needed five more. That sure was fun. But you know what? There's actually another tool that can help us find how many more to get to 10. That's called a 10 frame. Today, you're going to learn to use the 10 frame to find how many more you need to get to 10. Let's check out our math story. A 10 frame is a great tool to find the missing part of 10. Look, I already have seven counters. You can see that because there are seven red counters. To find the missing part of 10, all I need to do is figure out how many more counters I need to fill up the 10 frame. Let's count the empty boxes. Ready? One, two, three. I need three more counters to make 10. Now I can fill in my equation. 10 equals seven plus three. Let's try another one. How many counters do you see? I see five red counters. How many more counters do you think we need to make 10? Hmm, what do I need to do to solve this problem? You're right, we need to count the empty spaces to see how many more counters we need. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. We need five more counters. Can you write the equation to show the missing part of 10? You should have written 10 equals five plus five. And that's it. That's how you use a 10 frame to find the missing part of 10.